let's explore the intersection of meditation and physical pain. Quick disclaimer, I am not a physician. And the advice I'm going to give you is no substitute for medical advice. Having said that, I'm disabled. I've spent the majority of my life seeking medical guidance from various and sundry medical practitioners. Doctors, nurses, specialists, uh, people practicing alternative therapies. And the consensus seems to be that pain is not a malfunction. Pain serves an important biological purpose. The purpose of pain is to let us know that a, some tissue has, or organs, or a system has been damaged. And just as Benjamin Franklin wrote under the pseudonym of Poor Richard, that it's the squeaky wheel that gets the grease. Likewise, pain enables us to make, take special care of wounded areas of our body. There is some advice, sometimes spouted by well-meaning idiots, other times by just really cruel people, and that advice is that we should ignore our pain. But from an evolutionary point, standpoint, and from a biological standpoint, that is the opposite of the wise thing to do. When our body is, is injured and it's creating pain, it's asking for help. And we must practice compassion not only for others, but for ourselves, for our body. We must, by showing our body compassion, we are meeting its needs not necessarily indulging its uh, destructive cravings. I'm reminded of Don DeLuise's character in the movie, silent movie with Mel Brooks, whose character said, I need a banana pie badly. No, he really didn't. <laughs> Nobody needs a banana pie badly. They might crave it intensely, but they don't actually need it. But, it's so very important that we do not allow ourselves to be slaves or prisoners of other people's foolishness or cruelty. If they want to be foolish or cruel, that's their choice. But we need to do what's right. A yoga teacher once said, we do not get extra points for suffering. My name is Lama Jigme Gyatso, and this is the Buddha Joy Meditation School.